Net zero. Our goal to balance the emissions we release with the emissions we remove from the atmosphere. The UK and other countries have committed in law to reach net zero by 2050. So, how do we get there? We have already made good progress in rolling out low-carbon energy solutions, such as wind, solar and nuclear energy. But to fully reach our net zero targets, our current emissions need to halve by 2030. We need a way to permanently remove large amounts of existing CO2 from our atmosphere and fully decarbonize our industrial and power sectors. And this needs to happen now. A crucial part of the solution is Carbon Capture, Utilization and Storage, or CCUS for short. CCUS can help to reduce emissions from many of the industrial products that are critical to our economy, like the fertilizer we need to grow our crops, and the cement and glass we need to build new homes. And for the times when renewables can't produce enough power to meet our energy needs, CCUS can directly capture emissions from flexible power stations that ensure we can keep the lights on and maintain a reliable energy supply. Technologies like bioenergy with carbon capture and storage and direct air capture and storage will help to remove CO2 already in the atmosphere from sectors that cannot easily decarbonize. Carbon capture can be combined with hydrogen production to make low carbon hydrogen, which can be used as a fuel for heavy industry or transport or to make low carbon electricity. Some captured CO2 can be used to make essential products like building materials, food packaging and chemicals. And this process is known as carbon capture and utilization, or CCU. However, given the volumes of CO2 we produce, most will need to be permanently stored. Captured CO2 will be transported by ship or pipeline to be injected into offshore storage sites, where it can be permanently stored deep within rocks, typically one to three kilometers beneath the seabed. In the UK, we are fortunate to have one third of Europe's potential geological storage sites in the North and Irish seas. CCUS is ready now. CCUS clusters, where multiple industries in one area share the infrastructure needed to transport and store CO2, are in development across the UK. These clusters will need to capture between 20 to 30 million tonnes of CO2 per year by 2030 and over 50 million tonnes of CO2 per year by 2035 to reach the UK's net zero ambitions. CCUS clusters will transform the UK's industrial regions so that existing businesses can decarbonize as the cost of emitting carbon rises, as well as attracting new business to the area. CCUS will enable industries to produce new, low-carbon products like clean cement, just as demand is growing in the UK and globally. To unlock the exciting potential of CCUS across the UK and secure billions of private sector investment into industrial regions, we need the government to continue to support the development and construction of these clusters with increased funding for future projects up and down the country. The development of carbon capture, utilization and storage will be essential for tackling climate change, growing our economy and creating a cleaner, greener future for all. CCUS, enabling a net zero future.